We can do it together. This is what I do. Visiting hours are never. Busy night at the Artemis. You know. So we got this hotel that's been around for a while and some people are saying it reminds them of John Wick. Is it true? Well, let's find out. My name is Brandon Keith Avery and this is just my opinion. what's going on everyone thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for hotel artemis i really do appreciate it now when i first saw the trailer for this movie a few months ago uh it did pique my interest just as much as everybody else um and just like everybody else i was one of the many people that kind of did get a vibe of the john wick franchise and that franchise you had a hotel called the Hotel Continental, where it was a safe space for a lot of criminal activity. Um, even if you had beef with someone on the streets and y'all are trying to run around and killing each other, you know, once you did get into the um, that hotel and the John Wick franchise, you know, all you know, all the rules started. You couldn't kill anyone, etc. And that was just kind of what came to mind when I saw the first trailer for Hotel Artemis. Now, this film is being written and directed by Drew Pierce. Um, this is his directorial debut. Uh, he's done a number of uh, short films, but this is his full length uh, feature. But he's also written a, a number of films as well, um, like Iron Man 3. He did that. He did the Iron Man uh, 3 short film, um, All Hell the King. And so, you know, this is his directorial um, debut. Now, uh, I, as each as interested as I was in this film, one concern that I did have was like, you know, man, I do like John Wick. I like the cast in this movie, of course, which I'm going to talk about in a second. But I was a little bit worried that it would kind of copy off of the uh, hotel in the John Wick franchise. Um, but I, I'm glad to say that it's, it didn't do that at all. This uh, is it's a completely different setting, completely different vibe, even though it may seem the same and they have a lot of the same similar rules. Rules, um, as that hotel um, in the John Rick franchise, you know, that is not the case with Hotel Artemis. And um, one thing that I just like about this film right here, Hotel Artemis, is just the cast. It is, it is stacked. We got Jodie Foster, Sterling K. Brown, Sophia Batella, Jeff Goldblum, Brian Tyree Henry. If you don't know him, uh, he plays Paperboy in the Atlanta series that plays on FX with Donald Glover. He's great in that role. He's great in this movie, too. A phenomenal actor. He acts his butt off. Uh, I could tell from an uh, interview that he had comparing that to the characters that he plays in this TV show and in this movie right here. You also have Zachary Quinto, uh, Charlie Day, Dave Batista, and a number of uh, other cast members as well. It's really hard for me to say uh, which character that I like the most out of this whole movie because they all did stand out, even Jodie Foster. And just a little fun fact about her, this is her first role that she's ever played in in five years. Um, her last role was Elysium in 2013, and I kind of found that interesting. I don't know why she would uh, quit or... I don't want to necessarily say quit, but just not pick up any roles. I mean, she's an Academy Award winning actress. Uh, I can't imagine it being difficult for her to get work. Um, but, you know, she was a prominent figure in this movie. The main character in this movie, besides the hotel itself, Hotel Artemis being a, a main character. Um, but she did stand out as the nurse. A lot of times when I'm seeing Jodie Foster in her movies, she kind of just seems like she's playing herself or the same role over and over again. And that's not a bad thing. I mean, as long as your performance is good. But here in this movie, I did get something a little different than I can't remember from the past. I mean, there was a lot to her character. Uh, she had anxiety issues. She was dealing with a tragedy that happened to her in the past of someone that was close to her. But she's also running this hotel um, that is a safe space for criminals. And if I didn't go over the plot synopsis, let me just go ahead and do this now. The film takes place in the near future. I believe it was either 2024 or 2028. Please excuse me. I can't remember. Uh, it's in the city of Los Angeles that is just driven with riots. Um, it's just crazy, over-the-top um, madness, chaos, mayhem. And one thing, another thing that I like about this movie is I can kind of see um, the, this being possible 10 to 15, maybe 20 years from now, which is scary, but also a reality check. Um, if you want to dive into that deeper, you're just going to have to see the movie for yourself, which I will, um, well, I won't say if it's worth it now. 
but you know that's just a great thing about the film. Uh, Jodie Foster is fantastic as well. Sterling K. Brown, I talked about him, or I brought up his name briefly. He was in Jobu, Prince and Jobu, in the Black Panther series, and another a number of other material as well. I do like him as well. He's a, a very confident character. He's not arrogant. Um, he knows his place. Uh, he knows when to listen. He knows when to speak. And uh, that's just something I can respect out of a character and just a human being in general. Sophie, Sophia Boutella, she was looking uh, mighty sexy in this movie as well. Very strong character. Um, she had a lot to do. She was in The Mummy. She was also in... Um, what other films was she in real quick? I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, she was the, in Kingsman Secret Service and she was also... And uh, Star Trek Beyond. I liked her character as well. Jeff Goldblum is pretty much great in everything that he um, that he does. Uh, he is the father of Zachary Quinto in this movie here, and uh, he's very rich, very powerful, and just somebody that you just don't want to double cross. Um, Zachary Quinto, I like him. He was fine. Um, Dave Bautista was great as well. Um, he had a lot of a uh, lot of dialogue in this movie. Well, I don't want to say a lot, but more and than his other movies. He is not the best actor in the world. He knows that he's admitted it, but he's very humble. That's why I respect him um, as an actor. Um, but I think he did well in this film. Um, he did what his character needed to do and was another standing point. Um, all the characters impressed me in this movie. Um, but the one that impressed me the most was by Charlie Day. If you don't know who Charlie Day is, he's been in fist fight with uh, Ice Cube, Pacific Rim, and also Horrible Bosses, I believe, was the film where he popped up on the scene for me. But Charlie Day is a funny character to me. Um, you know, I like him. If, you know, he was doing stand up or something, I would tune into him on television or Netflix or wherever uh, the programming was. While he is funny, um, a lot of people complained about his role in Pacific Rim, just that he was nagging and, and r ranting and whining. It was kind of like over the top quirky, like, no, 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 my God, no, 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 you know, kind of acted like that. And um, that's kind of true for Pacific Rim, too, and uh, some other films and things like that. But what impressed me the most, and, you know, he's just really a character that jokes around. He's a goof in his movies. It's somebody that you really just can't take seriously. That is not the case in this movie here. Uh, he did a complete 180 as far as characters that he's played in past films uh, 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 compared to this one right here. Now, this this film Hotel Artemis is full of killers and, well, no, excuse me, it's full of criminals and, and badasses and most likely people that will kill you. And I'm not saying that Charlie Day in this film came across as just some badass assassin or something like that, but he did come across as someone uh, with amount of swag and suave and debonair that I've never seen him before. Um, he, he was smooth. He wasn't a pushover, even though there may have been times to where he may have not been taken seriously or he was mocked in a sense. You know, he still was just going to let you talk crap about him. And, um, you know, he's going to just stand his ground when necessary. Um, you know, and that's just something that really just shocked me. I was like, OK, I, I see you, uh, uh, Charlie Day, you know, what I'm saying good stuff, dude. I've never seen this before, but I, I'm impressed and I'm liking what you're giving me on the screen right here. So, you know, that's just great. Um, something else about this film is there's just really no action in it at all other than the brief little fight scene towards the end. And I kind of went in thinking that this was going to be kind of like a shoot 'em up uh, head banger action type of movie, but it wasn't, but I wasn't disappointed either uh, with my ex with my expectations being set because it was just that entertaining seeing all the characters interact within the Hotel Artemis and just really trying to get a hold of Hotel Artemis as well. I mean, this film does not spoon feed you the plot and the synopsis in the world. I mean, you kind of have to put that together yourself. And that's not a bad thing because it is intriguing and it's just a way to force you to pay attention to the film more or in a sense draw you in. Um, because what this film could have done was easily gave you a plot device to where this is Hotel Artemis, so you're not familiar with it. So they give you a character at the very beginning that's not familiar with it, too. And as they're learning what Hotel Artemis is about, we, the audience, is, too. It's just a way to kind of knock out two birds with one stone, but that is a trope that has been used in Hollywood over and over and over again. No, that's not the case here. All the characters that are involved in Hotel Artemis, they know about it, and you're just going to 
have to pay attention to learn about it as much. It's going to answer some questions for you. It's not going to answer some questions and it's going to raise some questions. Is that annoying? No, it's not. It just makes me more interested. How interesting, more interested to where I want to see a sequel or a prequel or just create a whole universe around this whole art hotel Artemis premise. And which is just kind of fascinating because, um, you know, while I did leave this film majority satisfied, you know, um, I, I do want more and, um, you know, and I want more and more the, the, you know, the more I think about it. Um, so, you know, the action is fine. There's really just nothing special about this particular day. It's just a random day and how they put it in the film. This is just another Wednesday. So I kind of just like how they're uh, making it not a big deal. There was something else I was about to say, but it just, uh, slipped my mind. Majority of the film does take place in the hotel. Um, so that's great. I really did not have an idea of how this film uh, was going to end and I also it's not necessarily a happy ending to where you know you can just tie a nice little bow on top of everything but the film is very entertaining guys uh, my expectations uh, were mediocre to high and I walked out of the film uh, you know very satisfied very entertained and do want more of this Hotel Artemis world um, if I had to rate Hotel Artemis out of a 1 out of 10 um, I would give it an 8 um, out of 10. I'm trying to think, do I want to go higher than that? Um, hmm. Cause did I talk, I didn't talk about things that I, well, scratch that. Um, cause there's just so much to unfold about this film and I hate when I turn the camera off and there's something else that I want to talk about. Uh, but actually, guys, I'm actually going to give this film an, huh, I, I've never been stumped this hard before. Let's see here. And I do appreciate your patience as you're waiting on me to give you the rating for this film. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 yes guys an 8.5 out of 10 but guys that is just my opinion for hotel artemis have you seen it or do you want to see it have i turned you on have i turned you off do you agree with me or do you disagree with me let me know down in the comment section below let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing if you like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you don't that's fine but you can still subscribe to my channel you can also go to uh look me up on social media facebook instagram and twitter all that good stuff it's right there at the bottom of your screen and i made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for hotel artemis and before you go don't forget that my name is brennan keith avery and that's just my opinion peace